hello, hello! And welcome back as this Advent Stun Lancer gets ready to drop trowel and show off his buttocks wound in Perfidious Pete Plays XCOM 2. Oh, I don't know, Pete. I really don't think he'll be showing shit. Or rather, he'll only be showing shit because his punk ass got shot by Morgan Freeman. And when Morgan Freeman shoots you, you don't walk away to pick up your Congressional Medal of Honor and moon Lyndon Baines Johnson. When I'm finished with you, there's nothing left but two chunks of ragged meat lying blown in half in the street, spilling entrails upon the concrete and blood and shit into the gutter. Because that's how Morgan Freeman rolls. Also, I'd just like to point out, Pete, if you did show your ass to Lyndon Baines Johnson, he probably would have just responded by dropping his own pants, whipping out his dick, and challenged you to a pissing contest right there on the spot. Because if there was anything Lyndon Baines Johnson loved more than cheating on his wife, it was introducing people to Jumbo. All right then, a little history lesson via Morgan Freeman. And yes, Lyndon Baines Johnson did call his dick Jumbo. And hey, speaking of Jumbo-sized pickles, we're in one, a uh, little bit of ourselves here. We got four turns to handle this container detonation, and there is a literal cavalcade of enemies back here. We've got this pod, but there are like three more pods stacked on top of it. There's like four mutons and uh, some kind of elite muton back here, along with something else that I was not capable of identifying. So there's an absolute buttload of enemies left on this map. It really sort of sucks. We got four turns. We got to get our ass over here and open up this container, but I do have a plan for facilitating the container opening. So I think first thing we're going to do, we have four turns. Let's take a moment and, and sort of consolidate. Because only two members of my initial plan, only only two members are required for, uh, for my initial plan here. So we're going to have Willie Shatz. I'm going to bring you over here. We'll have you reload. Bullets are an important part of our strategy, guys. Back online. William Shatner is back online. Just like that time Scotty saved the Enterprise, Pete. Um, Jamie Lee Curtis, you actually have a shot. That's interesting, but I think ultimately we would rather have you positioned over here and probably studying your weapon. And likewise, Jimmy Lee Curtis, I mean, she still has shots from there. But there are only two people we need to make our plan work here. Sigourney Boom Boom Weaver is not one of them, but she is down a bullet. So let's go ahead and have Sigourney just come up here, reload. Let's half of the Boom Boom plan, it's Clint Eastwood. He's, he's half of our plan. The other half is Tom Hanks. So what we're going to do... Tom Hanks, are you going to get spotted in either of these tiles? No, in fact, you can run all the way up to the corner of this bus and be relatively cool. So let's bring you... I mean, I don't need to get that close. So I'm going to bring Tom Hanks up here. You could hack something? What can you hack? Oh, probably the robot. Uh, you're just going to be on Overwatch, Bruce. Overwatch. Arnold? I mean, you're Moving really not useful at all, are you, buddy? We're going to bring you over here. Just have you reload. Oh yeah. And then Papa Bear? Yeah, I think now is your moment. So here's what we're going to have you do. We got to get a critical grenade from Clint Eastwood, and this is actually the perfect position. All I want to do is blow the back doors off that vehicle. We're going to blow the doors off it, yo. So let's enact door blowing plan. That's perfect. That's exactly what we needed. Hanks now has line of sight onto the thing. Beautiful. This is exactly what we needed. Now we can have Tom Hanks hack this, and then we can just sit back and draw the enemy into our nice little kill box and ruin all of them. But what's going on here, though? We got... That's the Sectoid Commander and some kind of very large, very angry Muton. Alright, well, this is bad. Okay. Um, you know, all things considered. It's bad, but it's not the end of the world. Had our reinforcements drop in. Morgan Freeman cored him like an apple. Now all we got to do is figure out how to deal with this. We do want Tom Hanks to hack the box. But also, Jamie Lee Curtis is up here with a steadied weapon. 78% is your best shot. 69% at that Centurion? Why is that guy impossible to hit? 
Alright, Tom Hanks, what's your other hack thing? I don't even remember what it was. I can Oh yeah, it's garbage. I was gonna say, I can remember thinking that it's very bad, but I can't remember specifically what it was and why I was convinced that it was terrible. How are we gonna handle these guys? I was hoping to draw them back into us, but that's... probably not gonna work. Most of our units can't even see them. Morgan Freeman is distinctly far away. Seems doable. We bring Morgan Freeman to here. I think we put Morgan Freeman on Overwatch. Really, our, our ultimate goal should just be to have nobody visible to these enemies at the end of the turn. William Shatner, I would love it if you could take shots at that sectoid commander. Can you? Um. Well, we can get you one shot at him. Which, honestly, might be enough. If we can get a shot here with William Shatner and a lucky hit from Jamie Lee Curtis... 61% is the best you can do. No, we can do better. We're going to hit this fucker with hail of bullets. This cannot miss. It can't generate a kill, but it can't miss. 10 damage. That's a respectable start. We need this sectoid. I'm, I, I'm not entirely sure what these sectoid commanders can do, but I'm desperately afraid of whatever it is that they can do. 78%. If this hits, we will also get a follow-up action with death from above. Jamie Lee Curtis in a clutch. Sectoid commander is down. That, that was beautiful, Jamie Lee. Um, I think we're going to put you on Overwatch. I'm on it. Actually, that was Pistol Overwatch, son of a bitch. Not what we needed. All right, Sigourney Boom Boom Weaver. Who can see this fucker? Okay, what we want is at the end of the turn, we don't want anybody to be able to see that piece of shit, so he has to move. But we also still need to be able to see the thing so that Tom Hanks can hack it. It says this tile accomplishes both of those objectives. Right, well, we can't see the thing, and we can see this thing, so let's go hack the chest. This is what happens when you have Forrest Gump as your mission specialist. Hey, Gump, go check that hole out. And Gump's like, oh, yeah, yes, sir, Lieutenant Dan, I'm on it. Uh, this is how people get shot in the ass, Hanks. This is how Lieutenant Dan gets his legs blown off, Tom Hanks, this right here. We're definitely going to disarm the detonator, but I don't really care about a resistance broadcast. I do care about recovering a lead on an alien facility, though. Ultimately, these 25 credits are going to be completely pointless. We will not need this bonus income. I think we go for the facility lead. And you know what? If we don't get it done, we don't. <gasps> Tom Hanks is the world's greatest hacker. He has gumped his way into success. <laughs> Lieutenant Dan, ice cream. Uh, what? How did we activate these fuckers? They saw the gremlin. Okay. All right. This is uh, extraordinarily bad, actually. Tom Hanks, are you visible to those guys? I, I can't tell. Tom Hanks almost certainly is visible. He's not visible. Nobody can see the muton anymore, though. But we cannot go forward because we know definitively that there are more guys back there. We know without a doubt there are more dudes. Uh, Eastwood... I kind of want to just fall back and overwatch. But what are we going to do about Tom Hanks? You know, maybe we just let Tom... Maybe we just let Tom Hanks die. I did not expect that to activate this pod, or we could have handled this entire turn a little bit differently. We also still need good cover, because that Muton Centurion is not going to fuck around. All right, Sigourney, you're on overwatch. Bruce Willis, there really is nothing good we can do with your entire turn. We could have busted Bruce's cover and had him throw a flashbang, I suppose. That might... Actually, we might still be able to pull that off. We can't flashbang a robot, though, so that's completely pointless. It's not going to do anything to the robot. And also, Bruce Willis can still see a guy, but he is concealed. So I think... Overwatch for Bruce. Arnold Schwarzenegger... I don't even think Arnold Schwarzenegger can get into a position to have a shot at the Muton as it closes, potentially. I guess we'll bring him over and put him in his corner cover and drop him into Overwatch. This is what I was concerned about at the start of this mission. We have fallen into a bit of a, of a doom spiral here. Taking a crummy team on a difficult mission is going to result in us having an even crummier team on a difficult mission. You know, we could frost bomb as well. Will it go that far? It will. I don't hate this plan. Where is... We don't know where the robot is, though. 
And I don't think it's an... You know what? No, it's not worth it. I'm not going to blind fire a frost bomb. We only have one of those. Let's fall back to where we cannot see that... I don't want to be able to see shit. This is, this is it. We're cramming our fingers in our ears and starting to say la 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 la. How, okay, I was going to say, you should not be able to see that guy. We overwatch with you. And I think Tom Hanks is just... He's, he's fucked. I'm sorry, Hanks. I had hoped it would not be the case. And the Centurion is going to pull all of our Overwatch. Oh, Clint Eastwood is the world's greatest man! That's how it's done. That's how it's done, because I have a 44 Magnum. The most powerful handgun in the world. That guy moved and marked. That was beautiful. We've got a chance here. Arnold Schwarzenegger with the kill! He one-shotted the mech! That was unbelievably lucky. That's right. Most powerful handgun in the world. You come up against Clint Eastwood, you better be ready to get fucked. That is not a really very good shot, Jamie Lee Curtis. Also, it's unlikely to net us a kill. So I think, Tom Hanks, I mean, you could do some guaranteed damage here. There is no way I'm running forward because we know for a fact there is another pod back here somewhere. These two guys were not alone. There's another pod of mutons. We spotted them earlier. Arnold Schwarzenegger doing some surprising work. We have two sources of guaranteed damage here. Actually, three sources of almost guaranteed damage. Never mind. That's not guaranteed at all. That's actually a terrible chance for damage, even with a walk fire, which I was sort of counting on as being guaranteed. Clint Eastwood is not going to be able to do shit. We could burn Bruce Willis's cover for some guaranteed damage, which actually would be guaranteed. William Shatner can probably get a hit. That's right, Pete. William Shatner has had many hits in his career. Like when I sang the massive song, Lola. That, Pete, was a big hit. Yeah, it was a big hit, Chatner. It was your fucking spoken word album was just about as big a hit as that shot was right there. Great fucking work. Way to Star Trek 5 it, douche nozzle. <sighs> we we got it. I need a, I need a grenade on that guy. Boom boom, can you hit that? No, cuz we can't grenade that. It will blow up the goddamn thing. Son of a bitch. What about an acid bomb? Can you give me some acid work here? Actually, can you hit him without blowing up the truck? Okay. If Sigourney can hit this guy without blowing up the truck, which this appears she will be able to do. We can probably... We, we should be able to chip him down with sources of basically guaranteed damage. And we may have to burn Bruce Willis's cover to get it done. But if we have to burn Bruce Willis's cover, then we got to burn Bruce Willis's cover. It's just the way it's going to have to be. So, Tom Hanks... 29% chance to hit, but you've got guaranteed damage. Also, you should definitely move to cover before taking this fucking shot. It's bad cover, but it is cover. Then we got Arnold, we got the Papa Bear, Morgan Freeman. I don't know what Freeman's going to contribute here. All right, Jamie Lee Curtis, give me a precision shot, which is going to be anything but precise. Although I shouldn't fire shots at Jamie Lee Curtis. Never mind. Yeah, clean your glasses. I don't know what the hell is that mung you got all over, man. It's probably yogurt that you slopped into your mouth while trying to eat your Activia this morning. Tom Hanks got us two damage, which is what we expected. We're probably going to have to burn Bruce Willis's cover here. Can you shock me by doing more than I expect you to be capable of doing here, Arnold? Nope, because this guy's fucking unhittable. Well, now we're in a real pickle, because now we got nothing. All right, well, Bruce Willis, so much for your cover. Flashbang him. Flashbang. We could have had Bruce Willis take the shot, but the issue here is if Bruce Willis took the shot, it still wasn't going to kill anyone. Morgan Freeman's on Overwatch, and I guess we'll take a desperation shot with Clint Eastwood. I don't want to group up anymore in case this guy tries to throw a grenade at us. You know what? Just fine. We're dredging the bottom of the barrel here. We might as well sh make sure that we're all the way down to the bottom. We can traverse fire at least. So we get, uh, I guess Clint Eastwood's going to get a fail twice. I can't be angry at Clint Eastwood. He already did vastly more than any one man with one weapon should have been able to do on this mission. He already dirty hair. Oh, fantastic. 
Holy shit, Pickles, that's a pod. We knew this Andromedon was around, but that's three mutons and an Andromedon in a single fucking pod? That's ridiculous. And we are whiffing like champions today. Good work, everybody. So what's the officer going to do, though? He's the only thing... Okay, he did nothing. Well, we're right in the middle of the shit house now. All right, well, William Shatner can see them all. Honestly, William Shatner suppressing all of these mutons may be what we have to have him do. But then we still have to come up with kills on the rest of this shit. And Bruce Willis is going to be of supremely limited usefulness here because of the counterattack ability. God damn. We're not going to be able to do anything. And Jamie Lee Curtis has at least one passable shot. Sigourney so Weaver is out of explosives with the exception of one acid bomb. Well, the best thing we're going to get out of Sigourney Weaver is to put this acid bomb to use. This is We're going to get the most aggregate damage out of this. And more importantly, we're going to be able to shred these mutons' armor. So I think this has got to happen. Sigourney drops it in, lays waste to the area. Now that I think about it, Andromedons may be immune to poison damage, but we did at least get to shred. Yes. Yeah, we did. Okay, so their armor is all gone. I would kill for another explosive right now. Just, if anybody has a regular grenade that could take down this wall. Mr. Gorbachev, blow down this. You know, it's kind of, kind of got a different sort of feel. Eastwood could flashbang. Oh, Eastwood has a frost bomb. Clint Eastwood, you and your frost bomb. Okay, you could definitely frost bomb the Andromedon and the Muton. Which means we just have to kill that Muton this officer and that fucker back there. All right, I'm starting to think that maybe this is a soluble problem. Morgan Freeman, are you fast enough? You can get a flank shot at that mutant. You just have to stand in the open and do it. Who's going to kill this officer? Somebody's got to take down the officer. And once we take down the officer, who's going to kill? We're relying on Morgan Freeman to kill that guy. I think he can do it. Bruce Willis can, you know what, Bruce Willis can definitely kill this fuck. Alright, Bruce Willis, this man is yours. Lovely. Impressed yet? Um, well, you walked up and chopped the man in half with an axe. I would say it was brutal, impressive. Eh. Jamie Lee, can you finish this punk off? What you got the you got the yogurt. At least I hope that was yogurt, Jamie Lee. What have you been getting up to in the barracks, maybe? If that wasn't yogurt splatted on your glasses. Well, you know what? That just means somebody had a really good day. Never mind, I'm not gonna judge you, Jamie Lee Curtis. You wanna let some guy, you know, frost your cake? Go for it, girl. It can't be all yogurt commercials, I guess. Sometimes, you know, a girl's gotta take a day for herself and uh, get bathed in baby gravy once in a while. All right, Morgan Freeman, we need a rapid-fire shotgun blast in this man's spinal column. No, no, not not that guy. The, the guy that you have flanked. Double, ugh, double 73. Well, if even one of these hits, though, we could get a kill out of it, which is... Okay, all right, Morgan Freeman gets the job done. It took him two shots, but he got there. He got there. William Shatner, we're going to move you to here. You know what, William Shatner? I think I'm going to have you just throw a grenade. If you can hit one of these guys with that grenade, I mean, that's also beneficial. But mostly, I just want this cover destroyed. Blow up this little monument these guys are hiding behind. I've had enough of this shit. We're going to tear down this wall. I'm going to blow up fucking a monument. I'll take down Stonehenge. I don't give a shit. Nowhere is safe. With that cover reduction, we got... You know, we can get some utility here out of Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yes, I will bring the pain, Pete. Oh, you have been terminated. I know I make that joke every time I kill someone, Pete, but he's funny every time. It was actually never funny, Arnold. Oh, shut up. You don't know what funny is. So I'm thinking Clint Eastwood is just going to come up here and frost bomb because there's no way we're going to be able to drop this Andromedon in a single turn. Between Tom Hanks and the Papa Bear, yeah, we're not gonna we're not going to have enough soup to get that done. So here comes the old frost bomb. Andromedon gets frozen. 
We probably should have taken a shot with Tom Hanks before we did that. I don't want to shoot this guy after the fact because I think Tom Hanks might thaw him out and I don't want to risk it. I'm on the move. So let's bring, you know what, Tom Hanks, oh, he can shoot shit anyway because Tom Hanks doesn't need bullets. So just come over here and reload. We're green to go. Andromedon is frozen. He's also going to be fucking shit on in a minute because I'm going to have Morgan Freeman walk over there and shoot him three times. So Freeman, no, could you not bathe yourself in acid, please? Like, is there any way you could not do that? Be in this tile. I'm going. That's close enough for Morgan Freeman's freebie. So we take the free shot. This is our close encounters. Oh, this motherfucker right here just had a close encounter of the deadly kind. <laughs> did you see what I did there, Pete? That Richard Dreyfus, fucking national treasure. And then get rapid fired, chump. Morgan Freeman is absolutely knocking it out of the park here. Ruined him. It, you're right, Morgan Freeman. That, <gasps> I missed an opportunity there. Before I took that second follow-up shot, we should have had Tom Hanks try to hack that thing. Go for the big facility lead, because then either we got the facility lead or we failed. But if it failed, we could have got a pot of reinforcements to come in. We could have killed those sons of bitches, too. Still, Operation Starchild, a pretty rousing success. 20 kills on that mission. And a flawless, even with a substandard team. Against some pretty overwhelming opposition, man. That last pod, an Andromedon and three Mutons, that's no joke. That's the kind of pod I talk about a lot when I was uh, in my previous playthrough on Legendary. That's the sorts of pods I actually want to see more of. Because that's, I mean... Think about the aggregate total. What are you looking at? It's 50, what was it, roughly 20, 24, I think, on the Andromedon and 11 apiece for the Mutons. So you're looking at a pod with about 67, roughly, aggregate health, which is a lot of health, but that 67 health is way, way, way more difficult to deal with than, say, just a sectopod who has 60 because it's scattered around amongst so many targets. Morgan Freeman did 32 damage by himself in a single salvo. But it doesn't matter if Morgan Freeman has to do that to four targets because he can't do it to four targets. That's that's why those pods, they, they just work better. Well, I don't know about you, Pete, but uh, we were in a jumbo pickle and this time old Lyndon Baines Johnson didn't manage to fuck one of his secretaries. That's another thing LBJ did. He uh he liked the ladies, Pete. And like I said, he, he loved cheating on his wife more than Morgan Freeman. Love cheating on his wife. Though, technically in Morgan Freeman's defense, what I did was not cheating. My wife and I, we had an arrangement. Open marriage. That's right. It basically just meant that Morgan Freeman got to slap all of the trim Morgan Freeman could get his jumbo into, while his wife did the same with some fellas who were not quite as handsome or dulcet voiced as myself. Into a weird area. A lot of cheating going on. What's what's with the adultery talk, Pete? I don't know. I've never been married. Adultery has never been a problem for Perfidious Pete. One thing I can honestly say, I have never been tempted to do. It's the one advantage of being a childless bachelor. Literally the one advantage, by the way. Yeah, I was... Uh, you know, Bradford, normally I uh, tend to be dismissive of your praise, but in this case, I actually feel like, yeah, we did some pretty good work. And Tom Hanks damn well better have gotten a promotion out of this, or I'm going to beat... Okay. Tom Hanks and Arnold Schwarzenegger both getting promotions. This is solid. Will the survive is crap. Aggression. It's not terrible. What if we try, a, like, a suppressive build? Because I don't really feel like we've been getting a lot out of... Suppression. What's cool under fire, dude? You know what? Let's take suppression, and I'm actually going to respec Arnold Schwarzenegger. I'm curious what the Overwatch Ranger is capable of. Maybe we'll have him on backup as an Overwatch. We'll take him to the AWS facility, chuck him in a tube, and see about retraining him. Tom Hanks? Tom Hanks has deep cover, which... Uh, I mean, okay, whatever. It's, a, it's, it's something. Medical protocol, combat protocol. It's medical protocol for you. You see somebody shot, Tom Hanks, you pick him up, you run him out of there. You understand me? That's right. Pick him up, you run him out of there. I saw him. There were some people I could help. So I picked him up. I run them out of there. Picked up an Illyrium Core, an advanced stock, which is garbage, a facility lead, which is far from garbage, and a repeater, which is also straight up trash. Also a bunch of corpses. 
Andromeda Autopsy is available. Excellent. And more importantly, Major Fernando Perez, our new backup assault, and we countered a completely pointless dark event. Still, this is good. Fernando Perez is on board. Speaking of AWS retrained soldier abilities, yes, we're actually going to go do that right now. But we're not going to do that with Fernando Perez. We're going to do that with Sergeant Arnold Schwarzenegger. All right, Arnold, get your ass in there. And by the time you come out, I expect you to be considerably better. It takes 10 days. Ranger ability retraining 10 days. I thought it only took five. That's really weird. Speaking of which, how long until uh, a couple of our team are back in action here? Harrison Ford, how, how much longer are you down for? Six days for Sylvester the Cobra Stallone. Four days for that rascally rabbit, Heron Ford. Heron Ford? Heron Ford. Apparently he's a fishing bird with extraordinarily long legs and beautiful plumage. Uh, well, plumage isn't as beautiful as it used to be, Pete. Years are catching up with me and feathers are starting to fade, if you know what I mean. Dane Judy Dench is also back in six days. So we should be fully ready for our next mission. Back with the A-Team, back in action. And we'll also have whoever Fernando Perez turns out to actually be. It's time to, you know, unveil that particular mystery. But that'll be for next time. If you enjoyed it for this episode, feel free to drop a like down in the comment section. Of course, your support does really mean a lot. And if you'd like to see who will be playing the role of Fernando Crash Perez in our next episode, you might consider subscribing as well. Post new episodes of XCOM every single day. Right now, thanks very much for watching. And I'll see you again soon. Which is actually what Lyndon Baines Johnson's secretaries used to say to his dick during his administration.